Hello, magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Welcome back to Hydraulics. So, for the continuation of our problem solving on hydrostatic forces on clean surface. So, continue lang tayo ng pagsagot para maraming, uh, maraming example, maraming matututunan. Tapos, later on, um, another topic for hydrostatic force on curved surfaces. So, pagkatapos ng problem solving, another lesson, tapos sample problem ulit, ulit, ulit. Okay? So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Ayan. So, another sample problem. Determine the magnitude of the force in the inclined gate, 1.5 and 0.5 meter shown. The tank of the water is completely closed and the pressure gauge at the bottom of the tank reads 90,000 newton per square meter. Use 9,800 newton per cubic meter for water. Ay, tinat ay mas madali ito kasi actually force lang yung nahanap. So, force. What is force? That is gamma H A, no? Summation. Tindi, oh, sige. <laughs> or simply F is, di ba? Pressure is force over area. So, pressure by area. Summation lang yan. Dito lang talaga yung ikot, promise. Walang halong kamatis. Mm -hmm. So, we have been given a tank reading of 90,000 newton per square meter. Now, what we will have to find is the pressure at point 1. Kasi nandun yung gate, diba? So, ito yun. Nandyan yun somewhere. So, this, this is your resultant force due to hydrostatic pressure. Hmm. Yan lang talaga. Now, I will treat this problem as if nag-sasummation muna ako ng pressure. Saka ako siya multiply ng area para irisahan. Ibig sabihin, recall from your uh, prelim, no? So, 2 to 1. Since ito yung given natin, ibig sabihin, naan dito ang ating reference. Hindi tayo pwede mag-assume sa taas kasi wala naman masyadong given. Saka sabi niya, completely closed. Sabihin, meron siyang uh, air pressure and hindi naman given dito sa problem so mahirap ko mag assume tayo na sa taas tayo magsisimula so I suggest bottom na tayo magsimula no? so from 2 to 1 we have here P bottom is equal to 90,000 that is Newton per square meter and then uh, syempre meron tayong pressure due to unit weight of water in height so water so p water is equal to unit weight times height what ano nga kailangan nating gamitin daw 9800 so 989 newton per cubic meter what is the height and given naman na siya sa actually sa figure 2 plus 0.65 that is 2.65 no need to complicate things. Nandiyan naman na po, given. The, ano na, ilan na yung water. So, simplify 9,800 by 2.65. Ilan yun? 25,970. So, 25,970. That is Newton per square meter. Now, for the summation of pressure, we have... Uh, sign convention, ano, mula tayo sa baba, aakyat tayo sa taas. So, therefore, 90,000 newton per eh, square meter. Anong sign convention? Pataas, di negative. Negative, 25. Minus yan, ha? Kasi, summation nga ng 4 is from 2 to 1. Ulit-ulit na lang din ako, no? So, 90,000 minus answer, that is... The pressure at point 0.1, therefore, is equal to 64,030. That is Newton per square meter. Pero, tinatanong kasi force, no? So, simply, force is pressure multiplied by area. What is the area to be considered? Siyempre, the area in contact with the force. That is the ga uh, gate. Gate, no? Oh, inclined gate, sabi ko nga. 
hinanap ko pa. So, 64,030 multiplied by what is the area of the gate? That is a rectangle. Therefore, the area of a rectangle is 0 0.5 by 1.5 meter. And the final answer is 0 0.5 by 1.5. Nakuha nyo? 48,022.5 That is, ay, that is already Newton. F. Yan lang, ganun lang kasimple, promise. Wala naman, di naman hinahanap sa atin yung, ano, yung location nung um, force. So, hindi natin kailang mag-solve for YP. Ang hinanap lang talaga, promise, is force. And the principle of this is, since singular, singular, uh, iisang layer ng liquid, so, as is ka, pwede mo siyang gamitan agad nitong formula for force, which is pressure multiplied by area. Tapos, yun na nga yung ginawa natin. Nag-sum up lang tayo from 0.2 to 0.1. That's it.